Over the past three years, we've seen moderate to severe drought, and it does seem like we're kind of going backwards. This isn't really helping to get to recovery. It's just kind of preventing the final extinction of the species in the wild. We got one. This year has been kind of unique because the drying usually happens pretty far south of Albuquerque and this year it's happening in Albuquerque. So the Rio Grande used to go dry in Albuquerque routinely over the previous century. But in the last 20 or 30 years, we've gotten a handle on how to prevent that from happening. The city has managed its water supplies better. The irrigation district has managed its water supply much more efficiently and that's allowed us to keep water in the river itself. But climate change is coming at us so fast right now that it's outstripping those tools that we developed over the last few decades. As the uh, river dries up and forms these isolated pools, we'll go into each one of these pools and try to rescue out all of the Rio Grande silvery minnow that, that are trapped in them. If we don't get out there to remove the fish from the pools, they're, they're going to die for sure. We try to move them to an area that we think is not going to dry and give them a chance to live. If we want to keep water in the river, we have to take water from someplace. We have to dry up the valley floor, the green neighborhoods, and turn them brown in order to put water in the river. We have to stop irrigating the pasture for um, the horses. Um, and those are things that are super valuable to these communities too. We're out of other options. It's a choice between do we want a natural ecosystem or do we not want a natural ecosystem?